This is calculator question number 37. College Board gives us a very long description of Little's Law, which you can skim through. The important part is the formula, n equals rt, where n is the average number of shoppers in the store, or as they explain later, in any portion of the store. r is the rate that shoppers enter per minute, and t is the average time they spend in that store or that portion of the store. So I'm going to use the equation n equals rt to solve this portion here with this, say, 84 shoppers per hour. This is the end of the test, question 37 out of 38. So I'm going to do 84 over 60 on my calculator. And I get 1.4 is r. And t the amount of time they spend in this portion of the store, the checkout line, is five minutes. And that product will give me n, where n is how many shoppers on average are waiting in the checkout line. So n equals 1.4 times 5 is 7. College Board is asking you to apply Little's Law, and it's important to pay attention to units. R was given as shoppers per minute and t in minutes. Over here, the 84 was shoppers per hour, so we had to divide by 60 because shoppers per hour means shoppers over hours, but we want shoppers per minute if you multiply by one hour over 60 minutes, the hours cancel. We do this for units in chemistry often, and that gives you Shoppers per hour divided by 60 will give you shoppers per minute. So if it was 84 shoppers per hour, it's 84 over 60 shoppers per minute. College Board often asks this sort of question where you have to convert units. Always pay close attention to units with College Board questions and in the real world. And come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.